Welcome to London Big and Hill. I've been invited by Cirrus Aircraft to fly the new G6, and not just Cirrus Aircraft, Philippe in particular. So Philippe, thank you very much for inviting me down yeah, today. it's my pleasure. I've got quite a few hours in the G5 in the right seat of a Cirrus, but I've never flown one from the left, so Philippe really wanted to change that and get me actually getting in control of a Cirrus. On the right to the left seat, will be the sight picture, will be a little bit different, okay. right? But in the airplane you were flying was a G5, I was a couple years old, uh, ready for an upgrade. We've made a lot of progress since then, uh, both in terms of the brakes upgrades, the door latches, the colors, the paint schemes, um, and the big one, which we launched in the G6, is the Sirius Perspective Plus Avionics. So what we've done in partnership with Garmin is we've taken a, what is, 15 plus year old processing capability, and now we've made it fit for 2017. The computer that powers avionics is now 10 times faster, which means that there's so much more capability, and you'll notice it on startup, the startup process on the avionics, it's just very, very fast. And then the capabilities as well of the avionics are now fit for the next 10 years of development. I'm looking forward to using the new Perspective system. I think one thing for me is just hand flying it. I've used the autopilot, I've hand flown a little bit in the air. Yeah. But what should I expect at flying at sort of circuit speeds in the aircraft? How does it handle? The aircraft handles the same at high speeds as it does at low speeds. And part of that is the cuffed wing technology that we have. So we have two different angles of attack, right? And that we've had on every uh, SR2X airplane that we've that we've built, that was initial design. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Okay. Cross clear. Okay, we're on. Begin approach to number 477 Echo Uniform. We're outbound VFR to Blackpool, we are ready for taxi. November 477 Echo Uniform, taxi holding point Hotel 1, runway 03, QNH 1026. Taxi Hotel 1 for 03 1026, number 7 Echo Uniform. And we've got a castering nose wheel, so I need to use the brakes. That's exactly right. It's very easy on the controls, it's the taxi. In the G6, or in an SR22T, um, there's 315 horsepower sitting on the nose of, of that airplane. So, right? so you can imagine it's a lot. I think so most I've had 180. Yeah, so it'll feel a little bit different, right? You'll have to put all, quite a bit of right rudder in just to, to uh, negate that left turning tendency of the engine. And the acceleration is really fast. 77 is rotation. As soon as you pop off the ground, the thing wants to it wants to go up, right? So you're gonna end up having to push forward a little bit on the yoke just to maintain the ground visibility out of the front window, right? And then she'll climb at 1,200, 1,300 feet a minute initially. Uh, before you know it, you'll be at, at our cruise altitude, which uh, initially out of Biggin Hill will be a, a measly 2,400 feet, but yeah, that's say still, you'll be there quickly. Right, so we've got flaps 50, we're going to be rotating at 77, and then climb speed to 90. And the CRJ line up runway 03 behind, and we're 7 Echo Uniform. So rotate uh, 77, right, so smooth advancement of the throttle. Yep. Rotation 77, don't forget that right rudder on the rolling. Yep. And just confirm that the, the wary under to Julian's to signature legend 0813. 0813, hey, phone, follow the uh, rep to the right then, and then left. Right, and then, um, yeah, rotate 77, right, it'll come off the ground on its own, and then, yeah, you can climb out at 110, it's good. Cool. All right, one thing that's a little cheat sheet, right, is as you advance the throttle, push yeah. that little button right there, and what you get is you'll get a seven degree pitch up flight director bar. Okay. All right, and then just put the yellow arrow inside the flight director bar. That'll be your perfect climb out. So see, having the uh, the Perspective Plus with the increased avionics, or the increased uh, computing processing yeah. power, right? The avionics can anticipate a little bit more what you need, right? So for example, right now, we're zoomed in very close. 
because we're still on the ground and yeah. we need to know where we are, right? But watch, as we accelerate, the map will zoom out to our first waypoint, ah. for example. From 7 Echo, uniform with the left, turn out at 1 mile, clear for takeoff from way 03, session 34014. Left turn 1 mile, clear for takeoff 03, number 7 Echo, uniform. Okay, toes will hit the brakes. Smooth advancement of the throttle. Here we go. Great. We're full power. Full power. A little bit gusty. That's 70. That's 70, 77. Very nice. And then nose down. Perfect. That's good. All right, if we give us, give us that flight director bar. Yeah. There you go. So that's your pitch angle Watch right that. there. That's what you want. There. And we're clear of obstacles. Flaps up. Flaps up. And now we can climb out, it'll be exactly 120. Gotcha. It's good engine cooling. And it gets us to our destination. Well, that was such a smooth takeoff. <laughs> I have to say. Thanks, John. Not too great. bad. That was excellent. Okay, we've got 1,000 for 2,000. T and P's on the green. Great. And that's 600 feet AGL, so caps is available. Gotcha. I'm at 123, it's looking okay. Great, we can make that left turn. Roger. Finally fast. Mm -hmm. 7 Echo Uniform report, passing a beam the gliding site at Kenley, caution it may be active. What level are you climbing to? Climbing up to 2,400 feet and Wilco 7 Echo Uniform. Great. So from here, we'll get Arkham in the avionics. Probably just going to go into the soup a little bit, aren't we? Yeah, I'd say we stay a little lower. Let's yeah. go 2,000. On November 2nd, the uniform, so 11 hours, you 2,000 feet. 7 again, uniform, Roger. OK, we'll accelerate, and then we're going to be 30.5 on the manifold. Yeah, so you can set that now. Okay, that didn't go too bad, Excellent. we're airborne. So, yeah, set at 30.5, right, and now lean the mixture yep. so that that arrow is on that blue line. Watch it. All right. There, yeah, keep it coming back. A little bit more. There you go, so that's about right, right? Cool. If we bump up the power back to 30.5 inches, this is what we call a max cruise power. And you have Kenley to your left at uh, yep, 10 o'clock. that's Kenley right there, you see Roger. it. Thanks for that, John. Cool. Seven for seven, Akino Holmes, passing Kenley, Crestrian Exchange to Farnborough West, 125, decimal 250. Seven, Akino Holmes, box 7,000, free call Farnborough Bay. 7,000, free call Farnborough, second Akino Holmes, bye. Farnborough West, good morning, member 477 Echo Uniform, request traffic service. Member 477 Echo Uniform, Farnborough, pass message. Member 477 Echo Uniform, Cirrus SR22, Biggin Hill to Blackpool, currently just 6 miles west of uh, Biggin, altitude 2,000 feet on 1026, request traffic service, we're routing Ockham and your overhead. Member 7 Echo Uniform, squad 0430, basic service initially, Farnborough QNH 1027. 0430 basic initially got uh, November 7 in uniform. Ah, barely. November 7 in uniform identified traffic service. Reduce traffic information from all around due to controller workload and as you pass Ferret and then Blackbush. Watch your traffic service reduced number 2nd in uniform. Cheers. Okay, you're not doing too bad. Very good. Oh, no, very good indeed. I mean, I'm amazed at just. Like, like you said earlier, how easy it is to hand fly it. I was going yeah. to ask you that. Um, I wondered with the speed and reaching your altitude yeah. whether that was going to be a problem. Does it feel really sensitive? Um, yeah, but very positive, really positive I feel. To John, it seems probably, like you trimmed it out also yeah, I'm, I'm, pretty yeah. comfortably. Do we feel like you're going fast, John? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. Well, it's 180 horsepower versus 315. Yeah. Also a, a clean airfoil, right? So the composites, there's no rivets. No. It's a little bit more aerodynamic. If you can reset, Squawk 0431. 
0431, number 7, I can uniform. So, one thing I noticed that you were doing, right, yeah. is you're reaching up here yeah. to change the things, right? So with the new uh, Perspective Plus avionics, you can do everything, absolutely everything from here, including okay. changing transponder codes, so right, I a designated transponder. ident button, right? So if they say squawk ident, you just hit ident, right? The volume knob yeah. is here, the home button to always come back to this, to your home screen, right? Everything can be done right here. Awesome. Yeah. Right now we're going 160 knots, true. Yeah. It's pretty, a pretty good pace. Pretty sporty. Yeah. So, um, direct routing is approved. If you contact Farm Tower 122 decimal 5. So you see that dot right there? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a feedback. traffic, right? Ah, no way. Yeah, so that's a traffic that shows up here. And as you get closer, that dot will get bigger. If you get really close, it'll go yellow. Yep, you also see them here. So here there's one 4,000 ahead yeah. of us. Roger, oh yeah, this right. is amazing, this new bit. And can I zoom that out slightly? Yeah, so we can zoom it out just like you can wow. everything here. So the way I've got this set up right now is I have it set up for relative terrain. Yeah. Right? But you can make it look exactly the same. So, um, you know, this is your topographic map, so now it mirrors these. Yeah, that's cool, I like right? that one. Or you can do the relative terrain like I had it before. Oh, uh, yeah. Right, or just yeah, just go weather, go go whatever it is you want. We're at Ockham. That's right. See down there? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the old uh, aerodrome. Call Fedox, call Fedox, call Fedox. Seven zero one zero and three call. Very quick, back off. Traffic eleven o'clock, seven miles left to right, one thousand five hundred feet indicated. Inbound to Fedox as a second one seven two. Eleven o'clock traffic, thank you, number seven eight one. Eleven o'clock, one seven two. Traffic not sighted for me. I think I've got him on TCAS. Yep, that's him. And he's found him below. Yep, and there he is also. Seven Echo Uniform Traffic, one o'clock, mile and a half right to left, 1,100 feet indicated. Looking for traffic number seven Echo Uniform. November 7 Echo Uniform, previous station says 172, now currently in U, 10 o'clock by three, two miles left to right, 1,400 feet indicated. Traffic not five, but we have one T cast number second Echo Uniform. I think it's no conflict, he's passing underneath us to the left. Ah, uh, visual. Number seven, a uniform is visual. A uniform, Roger. And I've got this guy here on the right too. Roger. No factor. En route, I'd like to do a little bit of general handling on the way to see how the aircraft feels. What sort of things do you think we should do? Well, we'll do some steep turns, right? We'll start there. And the steep turns really demonstrate the uh, neutral stability of the uh, control surfaces, right? So on a Cirrus, the controls snap back to a neutral place when you let go of them. They don't stay in whatever position you put them in, right? So it makes actually putting rolling into a 30 degree bank or a 45 degree bank, it'll hold that bank angle until you tell it otherwise. So steep turns are really a breeze. So I'll show you some of that. We'll also do a bit of slow flight, right? We talked earlier about the uh, handling characteristics between high, high speed cruise and slow speed cruise. So we'll do a bit of slow flight and you can see that before we're in traffic pattern at a lower altitude. We'll also practice some stalls and I'll show you where the cuff going technology where you have the two different angles of attack really comes into its own. It's in that slow flight and that stall regime, that area. Um, let's see, what else should we show you? I know there's a recovery button if you get into an unusual attitude yeah. perhaps and you slightly uh, lose situational awareness. And in the system there's a button you can press, a big blue button. If you're hand flying the airplane and at any point you think, oh my gosh, workload is getting too high or you start to fall behind the airplane uh, or maybe you inadvertently went through a cloud um, and you've popped out and you're in a configuration that you're just so unfamiliar with. Hit that button, don't even think, just hit that button. The airplane will right the wings, hold altitude until you tell it otherwise, right? So with one touch, you can activate the autopilot to hold wings level and hold altitude until you figure out what it is that you, know, you, were, you were behind on. Uh, so you can catch up to the airplane in that regard. 
We'll start with some steep turns. Okay. Okay. One thing that uh, you'll notice is as we roll into this into a turn, we can start with a 30, 30 degree bank turn. Yeah. And then let, just let go and see what the airplane does. Go okay. for it. Whichever direction you want. So we've we've already cleared the area. Yep, I mean, it's all clear. We'll go around to the right. Okay. There you go, 30 degree bank. And like, let go, the airplane's just holding 30 degrees, right? Oh, yeah. So that we call neutral stability. Yeah. Okay? So neutral stability means that the controls snap back to the neutral place uh, after your input. So when you're flying, it takes a lot of the, the workload off the pilot yeah. uh, you know, to, make, to make turns. Okay? It also means that making steep turns is an absolute breeze. All right? Now I'm just going to hold down the autopilot button, although it's not on. You're going to do all the flying just to stop the uh, envelope protection from activating. Okay. okay. So now I want you to try 45 degree bank. Yeah. Okay. So go to 45 degrees and then trim it uh, with two seconds of uh, elevator up trim. Okay. Okay. So go for it now. Well, clear around to the left and to the right. And then you can take your hands off the controls. There you go. Yeah, it's very stable, so that's neutral right. stability. And all I'm doing is holding down the autopilot button just so that the envelope protection doesn't activate. Ah, uh, okay, I want right. to turn off. Yep. So, there. Do yeah. nothing, and then you can roll wings level whenever you're ready. Level? Right. Go ahead and retrain it, right? You're gonna have to push that nose forward to stop it from ballooning. There you go. Excellent. So let's throw the airplane into a slow flight configuration. Okay. okay. So the Cirrus handles incredibly well at high speeds, right? Like 150, 160 knots of cruise speed, like we were doing them uh, before, or uh, it will handle very, very well at really slow speeds. Helped in part by the angle of attack, so we can be more precise, but also by our cuffed wing and other features that are built into the system to prevent us from uh, exceeding the limitations yeah. of, of the airplane. So let's go ahead, right? We'll configure the airplane for a slow flight. We'll try to hold here 6,200. Okay, so we'll take the power all the way out. We can immediately pull the, push the first notch of flaps in below 150 knots. Gotcha. If you hold altitude, watch that balloon sometimes. Right, and then below 110, we can put in full flaps. They really act like speed yeah, racing. Yeah. Feel the deceleration of the airplane. All right. Golf off to Golf Golf Mike, one radar. Hello, passing message. Service FR22, Liverpool to Blackpool, just uh, north of uh, Kirby, 1029 at base. So let's continue to slow the airplane down. Direct to Blackpool. All right, we'll try to get to about 70 knots, and then at 70 knots, right, which is seven knots above our stall speed of 63. All right, we'll bump in the power again to about 40% power to hold altitude. All right, so here we are at slow flight. We're stable at 6,200 feet, just over 70 knots. But as we try to, yeah, a little bit of right rudder because we disactivated the uh, automatic yaw damper for the purposes of uh, of doing some maneuvers. Now go, feel free to handle the airplane. And let's see how it feels. Feels very stable. Yeah, here's a 20 degree bank. All right, which I. 10 knots above stall speed. You know, you're already, in many airplanes, yeah. you'd be thinking about uh, what might happen with that, with that spin effect. And the control's very, very positive. It's not losing. Losing its effectiveness. Yeah. Yeah. So the control's got very light. But you can also see the angle of attack gauge just here as well. How does that work? Yeah, so there's the angle of attack. It's uh, The information from the angle of attack is derived. Right. 7 Echo, uniform traffic south, five miles northbound, uh, believed to be a pair of Tucanos passing 5,000. Looking for traffic, number seven, Echo Uniform, thanks. He's uh, on the coastline, we just saw him pop up here. So the angle of, angle of attack indicator works uh, with indications from the same instrument as the stall warning horn. And the stall warning horn, uh, because it goes up and down, can give us a, a, a angle of attack readout. It's amazing. And that's a new feature on the G6, is it? That actually we introduced at the beginning of 2016. Right, okay. Yep. So let me have a let me take the airplanes you quickly. Have control. I've got control. All right, I'll show you. Even in slow flight, you can see how quick wow. the reactions are. Even in slow flight, right? So it's still very responsive uh, to your control inputs. Yeah. That's amazing. I thought the controls will get really light and feel very, you know, it's a little sluggish. Yeah. Yeah, not so much.
Let's zoom into the stall sequence, right? We're already in the landing configuration, so let's just go ahead and trim the nose forward, okay? And we'll pull the power out to, to 25%. Okay. So this is like we're on 80 knots, 25% power, we're on final, right? This is approximately the uh, your angle on final, you know, in, in, okay. in your descent. So let's go ahead and pull the power out, right, and pitch up. All right, nice and gentle. We'll right. see the angle of attack indicator increase. Yeah, so our base, let's say our, our we're 100 feet above the ground, right? So hold that altitude there, right? Angle of attack increases. Soon it'll go red. Stall. Right. Stall. We get the stall warning. Stall. And stall. There's your stall. stall. All right, stall. and then full power. Stall. Stall. That's it. First full power and full notch. First notch of flaps. Wow, that's uh, really seven controllable. Uh, seven Akini, who installed these other Takanos, East T by two. I said seven Akini, Paul. Well, let's, okay. let's give them some space. We're going to uh, turn southbound, seven Akini, Paul, to stay out of the way. Roger. We're as fast as that, nearly. <laughs> that's true, we are. And we burn a third of their gas. And water, and that's uh, Blazer. Over Morecambe Bay, it's uh, six other five hundred feet. We've checked the general handling for the next ten minutes. Uh, if you do need us, it'll be three six eight eight to be on the route. Okay. Yeah, cool. That's a stall. We'll do a flight turn to the right. Yeah, so this is our level button, right? So whenever you're falling behind the airplane, yep. right? we talked a little bit about it on the ground. Whenever you think you're starting to fall behind the airplane or you're distracted by something inside the cockpit, maybe you're you're flying with some friends and they're just making really good gags <laughs> and you realize you're not flying really anymore and you, maybe you don't even want to fly, right? <laughs> or maybe you're just a lazy pilot and you want to do auto trim. That's also a reason, right? Then with one touch, you can engage the autopilot, okay? Right. So let's go into a little bit of an unusual attitude. So, I'll so maybe pitch we'll up to the right. I'm done the clearing turn. Yeah, sure. So a little pitch up to the right. All right, and a little right. And now hit that blue level button. My hands are off everything. Yep. And the airplane will roll wings level and hold altitude. Wow. Right where you pushed it. So now it's settled at just over 6,000 feet. That's amazing. And it'll fly like this until you tell it otherwise. That's really really cool. Yep. So um, we're now currently we're routing down the low-level corridor, and that's a, a sector of airspace between Manchester and Liverpool. Uh, next is going to be Barton, we're going to go in for sort of three low approaches uh, and then depart. And the point of that is really just to get a feel for the aircraft at slow speed, at uh, circuit speed as well. And different power changes, flat pack changes, and how the aircraft handles. Um, the guys at Barton invited me along and said it'd be good for me to, to go do some approaches there. Which is really good of them. Looking forward to showing off the Spectra wingtip lights. Barton information, good afternoon, number 477 Echo Uniform, request join. November 477 Echo Uniform, Barton information, good afternoon, patch message. November 477 Echo Uniform, Cirrus SR22, Big and Hill to Blackpool. We're currently just passing the M56 junction, altitude 1200 feet on 1030, request for heavy information. November 7 Echo Uniform, runway 08 left, circuit left hand. QFE 1028, Squawk 7365. 08 left, circuit left hand. QNH 1028, Squawk 7035, and uh, we're going to route for a long final runway 08. Number 7 Uniform. Number 7 Echo Uniform, I'll just check it's QFE 1028, and the Squawk is 7365. Correction, QFE 1028, Squawk 7365, number 7 Uniform. Cheers. Number 7 Echo Uniform, there's no known circuit traffic. Report enter in the ATZ. Will code, Number 7 Echo Uniform. Number 7 Echo Uniform, it's at the ATZ boundary. Number 7 Echo Uniform, Roger, report final, there's one up to the personnel today, Kate, runway 08 left. Report final, just to confirm our intention, is it going to be three or four low approaches and go around this Number 7 Echo Uniform. Number 7 Echo Uniform, Roger. Okay, so visual with 08 left. Yep. Hold that break it in slightly. So we can, uh, we can pull that throttle back to 40. Now we report your level. Now we're at 1300 feet at the moment, we're just entering the low level corridor. Right, and I say we uh, slow the airplane down. If we go around 100 knots, yep. so let's really let's yank that throttle back, and then uh, it's that way they can get their photos. November 7, can you inform to finals? November 7, Echo Uniform, runway 08 left, low approach, go around at your discretion. 050 five, zero degrees, 11 one, one knots. Low approach, go around, November 7, can you inform? Golf Bowen, Sierra Tango, Sierra Bowen, Sierra Tango, 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 Alright, so this is now, if we go any lower, the flags will stop blue oh, okay. wagging. So it's up to you about what you want them to we'll capture. Them you took several, aren't you? Yeah. Number 
Echo 7 Echo uniforms going around. November 7 Echo uniform, Richard. And flaps up. It's great, so on the go around, right, you hit that button again. Oh, yeah. If you tag that button, you'll see the flight director bar pitches up and helps you establish the go around. Altitude. So what city am I looking at? Out the window? Manchester. It's the city of Manchester. Good, good, party, good party city, Philippe. Yeah? Yeah. Never had a bad night in Manchester. Am I uh, allowed to say I don't think I've ever been? I was always a bit nervous coming in here. It's because of Manchester. Oh, it's fine here, mate. November 7 Echo Uniform, down with 208 left, low approach, go around. November 7 Echo Uniform, report final, there's no known traffic ahead. Report final, number 7 Echo Uniform. Great, so set the power 25%. Yep. There you go, that's perfect. First notch flaps right away. Now just don't touch the power. Let the airplane slow down. All right. All right, keep that nose up. Oh, yeah, otherwise we're not going to get into the second stage, are we? Uh, exactly. All right, there you go, second notch of flaps. And that, they really like brakes those, aren't they? They are. All right, so now pitch for 90, so don't descend until you get to 90. Gotcha. Now descend. Gotcha. All right, there you go. So you're holding 90, and now you can make that final turn. Gotcha. There, now pitch for 80. There you go, don't touch the power. All right, 80 knots. Now just hold 80 knots and let the airplane figure it out. Number 7 Echo Uniform, final 08. Number 7 Echo Uniform, runway 08 left, low approach, go around at your discretion. 040 degrees, 10 knots. Low approach, go around, my discretion, number 7 Echo Uniform. All right, we have to counter the yaw, but now he gets a little head on shot. Oh, yeah. There you go. And the camera guy moved to the other side of the runway. Oh, uh, really? Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, he's steady side. We'll go quite low. Yeah, we can we can go all the way down. Ah, uh, last one stage. Number seven eighteen four going around. Number seven echo eighty four budget. Number 7 Echo Uniform to downwind 208 left flank, uh, yeah, high speed path from this one then depart. Number 7 Echo Uniform, there's no known traffic ahead, report final. We'll go in number 7 Echo Uniform. Golf, Victor, November, traffic southwest. Yeah, there you go. We can already go in. Forget the power, just bomb it. Boom! Boom! Traffic to November, Roger. There you go. Number 7 Echo Uniform to left A208 left. Number 7 Echo Uniform, runway 08 left, low approach, go around at your discussion, 070 degrees, 1, 2 knots. Welcome, number 7 Echo Uniform. There you go. That nose down, she'll never descend. Power out, so you can get lower. Cool. There you go. Power out, so we can get low. There you go, now we're talking. There, keep coming, keep coming, keep it coming. Keep it coming. All right, now, full power. There you go. That's uh, something I can't went around, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. There we are. All right, on course. There's a bit of fun. Yeah, a little bit. Number 7, can you inform departing to the north? Number 7, can you inform Roger, it's basic service, Manchester QH 1030. Basic 1030, number 7, can you inform? Black Bull, good day, November 4778, I can you inform 7 miles. 
to the south, uh, request join for inbound. Number seven, correct number four seven seven echo uniform black approach, basic service unit one zero three zero information Romeo. We have Romeo one zero three zero basic service number seven echo uniform. Number seven echo uniform Roger, many thanks and uh, you can uh, join and Call report it. right base runway one zero the QC one zero two nine. Uh, right base runway one zero uh, and uh, number four seven seven echo uniform. All right, cool. I've got you inside now. Roger, check out the wingtips as we come in. Alright. That's a nice view today. Oh my gosh. Welcome to Sunny we Lancashire. Take off, clear the brake, on the carriage is attacked, make sure it's fully rich. Fuel pump uh, goes to high boost. Yeah. Well, Actually, yeah, uh, just leave it on boost is good. Boost? Yeah. Okay, cool. They're effective, those brakes. And November 7 Echo Uniform, runway 102 to land, surface wind 020 degrees, 13 knots. Runway 102 clear to land, November 7 Echo Uniform. Alright, so on the landing, right, all the same. We'll follow the pappies down. Yep. And then, um, remember that flying it all the way down thing, right? Yeah, stay good on the rudders. Don't start to flare. To your in-ground effect. Watch gotcha. And we're looking for 85 and 80. Yeah, 80 knots is good. The winds aren't, uh, they're not gusty. And right, slightly you can see the angle of attack second. indicator, right? If you oh, peg yeah. that angle of attack indicator at 0. 0.6. Yep. Right, then that'll be, uh, that'll be 80 knots. 500. There you go. Put that power in there, she'll sink. Zero, three, zero degrees, one, one. I got a slight crossover from the left. And we're still ascending, but I'm gonna get the power in now. Yeah, it's perfect. You're looking perfect right on the glide slope. 80 knots. We call that stable. I feel you clear the brakes. Very good. Keep flying it. Keep the power in. Keep that nose down. There we go. Now, throttle to idle. Slide all the way down. All the way down. Let it sink. Let it sink. There we go. Yeah! Nice! Not bad. Not bad at all for the first one. Excellent. Left Echo, Echo, Charlie, Bravo to High G. Remember 7 Echo Uniform. Cheers. Well done. That was alright. That was very, little, very good. Little bounce. But only on the nose wheel, wasn't it? It was the, the rear. Yeah. It was only your nose wheel that was bouncing. That was okay. As far as I could feel, anyway. Yeah. Welcome to Blackpool, guys. Congratulations. Uh, information, that's correct. Uh, when ready, squawk zero. Congratulations. On his first series landing. Wow. Thank you very much. Nice. Well done. <laughs> good well done. landing. We did okay. Very good oh, landing. You did very well.